This is after three hours. Yeah. Okay, so today we're making adobo. So these are the stuff that we're gonna use. Pork belly, oh no, pork butt. Pork butt. Pork butt. Gochujang. We're gonna use that in place of our black pepper. Normally it's black pepper. Okay. So we're just gonna put a little bit. In replacement of black pepper, we're yeah. gonna use this. That's just a little bit of chicken base because chicken we're- Chicken base. Because we're, we don't have any chicken and adobo's garlic. best. Adobo's best with chicken in it. So we're gonna get a little chicken flavor from Brown there. sugar, soy sauce, and apple, apple cider. cider vinegar. Okay. Apple cider vinegar. And lemongrass. This is not apple cider, it's apple cider vinegar. Bay leaf. Bay leaf. That's it, we're gonna keep it simple today. Okay. Still a little frozen. There's bone inside too. Yeah, there's a bone there. That's gonna make it challenging to. How are you gonna chop the pork? Like what size? Big, 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 big large sizes. cubes. Yeah. Okay, big large cubes. So first, you get the pan. You want to do that in Tagalog? Okay, so first things first, painitin ang cast iron pan. You can sear it in your pot too, but this just works better. We're right, because the cast iron ay, yung temperature level niya, mas mataas, mas mainit siya kasi sa regular uh, frying pan. It's a huge Yeah. I wanted to demonstrate that tonight. And the reason that we sear our meat before we make a double is to create that caramelized color and color and flavor. Right? Mm -hmm. Color and flavor. I'm not going to put any more in because I don't want to crowd the pan. I want to make sure that the pan doesn't cool down. And it cools down when you crowd the pan. That, that's that shoulder blade. We're going to put that right in the dough because there's lots of good meat to eat there. We'll suck the bone with the flavor. important to sear the meat first. So it's the same. You create color on the outside of the meat and color is flavor. Okay. Color is flavor. 
That's why you don't just put it in a pot and start cooking it. You won't get the layers of and depth and complexity of deep color and flavor. So you get color in the sauce, you get flavor in the sauce. That. that one you're not going to sear the sides because it's too thin. So it's searing nicely. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that big boy in there. And nice and seared it gets. Now, I'm getting a little too much oil, and I don't want to be frying, I want to be searing, right? Mm hmm. Uh, Save the oil. Yeah, and sometimes it tastes good, sometimes it doesn't. You can cook stuff in it. Uh, so you just have to test it afterward. Second batch. So there's going to be multiple batches for this because. You don't want to crowd the cast iron. Any pan. When or any pan for the matter. Because it, what happens is the temperature of the pan gets lower by all that cold meat and then it doesn't sear. So you never, you never crowd the pan. It's already probably too much, but I know it's rip roaring hot. So I, I know it can handle it. Put a little onion, but we're out of onion. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's still gonna be good without. Yeah. But we put plenty of garlic and either ginger or today I'm using lemongrass. Okay. Um, but we don't want to just put it raw in. In so again we're developing flavors. So what we do, we're not gonna fully cook it, but we're just gonna cook it enough. What we call sweating. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sweat the vegetables to like open them up, get them ready to give their flavor, mm -hmm. and develop some of their natural sweetness. So we do that first. And then also, we want that fond, you know, that meat that's sticking to the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. Like we told them about. Yeah, in the other thing, we other want that video. fond, because we didn't, normally we would sear in the pan that we cook, so we would get that fond. Yeah. So. I want that fond, I want that meat flavor that's on the pan that's not burnt. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pour a little water here, because I'm going to put water in here anyways. I'm going to pour a little water here and, I'm, and that all that meat flavor is going to release off the pan. Okay. smell the garlic and ginger cooking, you should say something like that, Jake. Yeah. And you should talk about the smells, because they can't smell. All right, okay. So now those flavors and that See how the, there's a nice brownness to the water? It's not black or dirty or burnt. Because mm -hmm. we didn't burn anything while we were cooking. We just browned it. Okay. So we want, we want that flavor from the bottom. So I'm doing a little scraping. To get that flavor. Yeah. We want that flavor. Mmm. Now time to move to the pot. The other thing is it's easier to clean your pot now, too. <laughs> Why? Because we just basically did a pre-clean, so, oh. you know, there's nothing to scrub off of it. Oh, you mean the cast iron? Yeah, the pot, the actual pot is easier to clean. Look at how beautiful that is. Yeah. So we are going to, um, we're going to move over to this one. The bigger burner? Yeah, I'm going to turn that on. We want to bring it to a boil fast. Okay. So we're going to add we're a little bit of vinegar. Apple so, cider vinegar. So let's, let's measure because it's a video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is one cup. Hold on, they can't see it. Okay. This is one cup. Okay. In the Philippines, they measure with cups? 
Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it was metric. Uh, we measure with cups. Okay. It is metric there, but we measure. So this is cups. one cup, but I'm not going to use one cup. I'm going to do half. Okay. So half a cup of apple cider vinegar. See, only half full. Okay. And we got the line and the inside to. Right. To make sure. One thing you have to keep in mind, if I want more vinegar, I can add a little bit later as it's cooking and I taste it. Mm -hmm. What you can't do, you can't take it out. Right, so you can't put too much in the beginning. Right, you can always add a little bit more. Right, okay. So, so remember every, that, guys. Every batch is a little different depending on how big it is and how much you got in there. Right. So soy sauce. This is my favorite commercial brand. Kikoman. Kikoman. I it's, mean, you don't like that to put it? <laughs> <laughs> salty and it doesn't have as much flavor as this. Ah, I won't focus. So, um, there's better soy sauce than go. this, but they're like high-end craft soy sauces. Uh, so for the for commercial brand, what's in the grocery store? This is my favorite. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do. Commercial. I'm gonna start with one full cup for this quantity because this is a pretty big cup. Right? Mm hmm So what And remember we didn't put any salt on the meat. Right. So, so that is our this. that is our salt right okay. there. Do you know how much meat we have? Like what with the weight? One full pork butt? Yeah. And it was just under ten pounds. So, so about 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 four kilos. Oof, that's a lot of meat. About four kilos. Yeah. Four and a half kilos. Okay. Four, four and a half kilos. So this is about four, four and a half kilos. So but we'll, we're taking it to mom's and right. we're gonna eat it. So So mommy and Gabe don't come in make dinner sa bahay ng mama niya, and we will eat it with them. So okay. right now so this is a four, four and a half kilos of pork butt. One full butt. With uh, garlic, lemongrass, soy sauce, and apple cider vinegar okay. so far. So, so mom, this is the, this is the hot gochujang. Mm -hmm. And if we were making it for us, this is how much gochujang I would put. Okay. But since mom and dad are eating it and they're not crazy about hot. Right. I'm only going to put this much. Okay. Just to add it. Tiny. Just for the flavor, it won't it really get too hot. Right. I'm just going to mix it down in that water there and it'll blend. Okay. So we don't always put gochujang in our adobo, but we've been making a lot of adobo lately. And just so to make it different. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we make a lot of different versions. <laughs> so, and then we're not using, the best adobo is chicken and pork. Mm -hmm. Chicken adobo is not as good when it doesn't have pork. And pork is not pork adobo is not as good when it doesn't have chicken. Yep, I that's agree. just my opinion. I agree. So I want a little bit of chicken flavor. When Mama makes adobo, she would usually mix it together. Yeah, yeah, because it's just way better. Yeah. So I'm gonna get a little chicken flavor, and remember, this is salt also. Right. So all the more reason why we didn't put salt in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Hi, and, Mama. <laughs> and when we're in the Philippines, we buy those little cubes. The nor cubes. Yeah, nor cubes. The nor chicken cubes. Yep. This is just a, a commercial brand, so it's in a bigger container yep. of basically the same thing. Okay. Okay. So the next Dark brown is sugar, light brown sugar, regular sugar, or if you're lucky enough to be in the Philippines and be able to buy like Moscovado, that would be the best. Or... <laughs> How about coconut sugar? Yeah, it'd be awesome. It would be good. Expensive, but awesome. Yeah. So we we don't really like it very sweet. So we're just adding sugar for a little bit of balance and body. Mm -hmm. So that's maybe like a quarter of a cup. And again, I'm going to put it down the side into the liquid so it melts. melts. Again, this is another one of those things that later, if I want to add a little more sugar, I can. But I but if there's too much, I can't take it out. Right. Okay. Look how pretty. So now, one sometimes when we make adobo, we cover this all the way up when we want a lot of sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we have actually we actually we have leftover sauce after 
we finish eating the adobo. And we do that on purpose because we like to use the sauce again to make a double concentrated adobo or maybe we're going to grill some meats and we want the adobo sauce for drizzling on the rice or blah 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 blah. But this time we're going to make we're going to make it a little more concentrated from the get-go. There won't be as much adobo sauce left. So what we're going to do is you can see look here, look down here. We did not cover it completely. So what that means is two things. Number one, we have to cook this with a lid so it doesn't disappear too quickly. And we will have to rotate the pieces that are on top and under the water. Okay. So, bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Oh, you want to tell them that we want this to only be on a simmer. Okay. Not boiling, so I turn the heat down. Okay, so turn the heat down. Two hours later. And it's done! Look at this! Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. This is after three hours? Yeah. Jeez. So what are you doing now? Deploage? Taking some of yep, deploage is the Deploage. French term. Deploage, oopsie. Taking some of the extra fat off the top. But yes, we are ready to eat. Kain tayo.